Hey guys, so today we have the full set showcase for the 2021-22 Tim Hortons Team Canada set. On screen now you can see a full time lapse of me putting all the cards in the binder that comes with it. Thought it would just be cool to show that. I ended up cracking two full boxes, so two boxes of 100 packs, so 200 packs, and then buying and selling through eBay and locally to get the rest of the entire set. I always do it pretty quickly, then it's kind of done and I don't have to worry about it. These sets currently go for between 650 to 800 bucks Canadian for the master set of 180 cards like I have here, depending on where you look. Anyways, let's go through this beautiful set of hockey cards. All right, so we've had our speed runs through the binder and now we'll have a nice uh, slower in-depth look at the set. So first thing to notice with the binder, of course, the collector series checklist. You got the whole master set list over here. So that's pretty nice. And they also have uh, the little white check boxes if you wanna check up the set and kind of ruin your binder, but I like to keep it fresh and clean there. And now we can move on to the base set. So for this Team Canada set, there's 100 base cards. And I guess Upper Deck shortened it from their normal 125 that they do for the regular Tim Hortons set the past couple years. But of course it is a second quick uh, Tim's release, so it makes sense. Each player is pictured with their Team Canada jersey in some year, in some tournament. So it's very cool to see kind of the distribution and difference of all the jerseys that Canada's had over the past little while. Very nice, uh, makes for a very nice look in the book here. And the first 70 cards are gonna be veterans. The uh, remaining 15 cards are females, and the 15 cards after that are kind of legend or legendary players that have played for Team Canada. So, very cool base set. Another cool thing is that on the backs of the cards, we have the player stats playing for Canada in all the various tournaments. So, you can see Corey Perry, we got World Championships, Sochi, World Cup, so many different things to read on the backs of each player. So that's really cool. And there's quite a bit of variety for the base set. So we've got guys like Quentin Byfield, all the way to Steven Stamkos and so on. So there's all the base set, nothing too crazy. You get two base cards per pack. And now we've reached the women. So again, 15 women, 15 female players, some of the best for Team Canada. And they also have their stats portrayed on the backs of the cards as well and where they've played in which tournament so very cool and then now we move on to the legends so another 15 of those very cool to see some of these names like Iserman, Brodeur, Esposito so also nice to see some of these Team Canada jerseys as well and we finish off with Lemieux and the great one so the first insert set would be the championship medals these are a very easy pull one in three packs you get probably between 33 to 40 of these per box of 100 packs, which is quite a lot. So these are definitely a double many times over. And they are a very nice card though for something that you're gonna pull quite a bit as they've got kind of like a embossed looking coin thing here. And uh, I guess it's supposed to be like a metal. And on the back, they have the, uh, the design kind of carries through. As you can see there, very cool. So there's the championship medals. Very nice looking cards. Can't complain about those for sure. The next set would be the Team Canada Captains. So they're just kind of like a cheesy little design with a C and some rainbow foil. And on the backs of each of the Team Canada Captains cards, it does say where they led Canada and were a captain. So Henrik, for example, at the 2021 World Championship. So that's very cool. They do give you quite a bit of stats. Clearly the stats were worked on a decent amount for this set. So there are the captains. Another interesting thing is for each insert set, I believe, obviously apart from the Timbits, there is a female player and a legend or two featured in all of them. So captain here would have been Marie-Philippe Poulain, but then there's also Eric Lindros, Lemieux. So nice little mix of players. And captain cards are one in four packs. So still very common. 
Now the next set would be the canvas cards. I think they call them UD canvas moments here. As Upper Deck is doing recently, they like to throw some canvas cards in almost every set that they can. And they're very collectible, very cool. They pick some great photography. And also again on the backs of the cards, it does talk about what happened in that certain photo. So it's very cool to see that. And uh, here's a shot at some more of the photography, some very nice shots. And these are one in six, so they're a little more tougher to pull, but still pretty easy. But a very nice insert for just being one in six. Definitely very, very great. So that brings us to the program of excellence. So these are one in eight. So one in eight packs, a little tougher to pull as we are getting up there. It's a nice design. I do love the black with the kind of Canada leaf coming out in the left here and then some of the kind of nice foil. So very beautiful cards, really love them. Uh, the only grape I have about these, another 15 of those by the way, is that a lot of them had like edging. You can see a little bit here, edging problems, corner problems uh, from all the ones that I've pulled. I made a few sets of them. so. A lot of them had problems like that, which is unfortunate. I think it's because the cards were black, uh, black edging and things like that. And Tim's just doesn't have the best quality control for these sets for whatever reason. But there's our 15 program of excellence. And that'll bring us to the trios. So this year there were 15 trios. Uh, Tim Hortons has done t usually 20 cards of the past couple years for the 3D cards. So they did make it a little bit easier as the trios are 1 in 24, still a very tough pull. So there's the trio set, looks fantastic in the binder as always. And again, having a couple cards, like there's the women, there's a couple legendary players. So very cool to see that all together. One interesting thing to note is that T7 and 12 have their kind of backs flipped or the card was kind of mismatched. So you can see T7 here is Gretzky, Coffee, and Lindros, but the back says um, Crosby, Bergeron, and Getzlaff. And if you move to T12, you have Crosby, Bergeron, and Getzlaff, and the back says Gretzky, Coffee, and Lindros. So I've scoured eBay, I've checked a lot of different ones out. They all seem to have that kind of printing error. So that's another classic gaff from Upper Deck there, but it is what it is. If you guys have a different card that's not an error, let me know. But that's pretty much all I've seen. And yeah, we'll just get one, one more good look at the trios there. Very beautiful to see. Love me some trios. But anyways, now we have the new insert this year, the Timbits card. So Timbits is a youth program that Tim Hortons runs. And all of these players were obviously featured in that program uh, during a specific year. And these were one in 100 packs, so very tough to pull. They were selling on eBay for about 50 bucks for some of the more common players, 275 for McKinnon to 100 for Crosby. So again, very nice chase card. They do look pretty solid actually, uh, with kind of like the firework foil in the back. Nice red card, simple design. And it does say on the back which year the player played with Timbits. So Crosby 93, Marshawn 93. McKinnon 2000, Gallagher 99, and Point 2000 as well. So there's your Timbits cards, one in 100 packs. That definitely made this set a lot tougher to chase. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed going through this full master set of 2021-2022 Tim Hortons Team Canada hockey cards with me. As you guys know, I like to do these full set videos. I'm a big set collector, so really love doing that as part of the hobby. So thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe for all your hockey card content. Let me know what you guys think of this set. And I'll see you guys in the next video.